All right, guys, today we're working on a 2016 uh, Ford F-150 um, 3.5 EcoBoost. Uh, the issues that I was having was uh, I noticed one day it was kind of drizzling, put the windshield wipers on, and they were pretty slow. Uh, about two or three days later, another little drizzle. Thankfully, it was just a drizzle because the windshield wipers didn't come on. Um, you could see the wipers flicker like the motor was activating, but uh, it wouldn't allow it to move. Um, I could stick my hand out the window and kind of pull on it, or even when I was pulled over, you know, uh, initiate the windshield wipers, and you could kind of pull the windshield wipers, uh, and you could tell that the motor was trying to move but uh, just the wipers just wouldn't go you had to force it up um, so I looked up a couple other YouTube videos um, what I figured out was that most of the time I'd say a good 80 90 percent of the time uh, the motor and the transmission for the windshield wipers are fine it just so happens to be uh, the bracket assembly um, and most of the time it's the driver's side bracket uh, side of the bracket is seized up now it is cold i think today it was going to start out at like 25 i think right now it's i think it's like 32 i think it's freezing outside um, so we'll just go through this real quick i've already taken uh, it off and found out that uh, what the problem was but we'll go over it real quick um, you'll first start off with the hood up um, these here, I've already got it off. You can see there that they're, that these are just little clips. So you're just going to pull them up, get a flathead screwdriver. So there's three on this side and you'll, you'll have to take this side off first driver's side. Then you'll go over that one. There's three of them. They're pretty simple. It doesn't come back down. So you don't have to worry about lifting one side up and doing the other side and then the side you already did come down and snap in again it's pretty easy they do just fold them down like this try to get them seated in there because you'll need to uh, shut the hood and if you can sh just shut it enough to where it just latches and actually doesn't fully close you should be okay um, this this side for uh, the windshield wiper fluid does have a clip here um, so when you put it back make sure it uh, goes back in uh, other than the three holes for the clips um, you've got tabs uh, in a few spots one there um, so when you do put it in you'll snap it in first make sure it's secure um, I've already pulled out the bracket assembly. It's really easy. Let's go ahead and close the hood nice and easy. <clears throat> so you've got, you got one bolt here and it's an eight millimeter socket and that's the middle one. You've got that one there, eight millimeter socket as well. And then here, you'll actually have to find it if you can see, let me get that right there. That one's kind of a pain. Um, I would use an extended head and then uh, at least a six inch extension uh, on that. The one that is on the driver's side, the eight millimeter that's behind this piece, you'll have to get uh, a ratcheting wrench or a, yeah, a ratcheting wrench, get in there with it. Um, <laughs> As far as the wipers themselves coming off, it's about as easy as you can get. There is, if you can see that, there's a clip. The clip itself pops up. Make sure that you pop this up. Move the clip out. The clip doesn't have a spring or anything on it. You kind of just jimmy it up and they pop right out. I mean, it's... You can look at it there. So we'll come over here. 
here is the old one here and this is the passenger side and you can see it moves nice and easy the driver side I I couldn't do anything with it it won't it won't move at all so it's definitely the issue is this piece here um, I got it off of Amazon let's see if it's got a part number it does not um, but it's a uh, it's a doorman um, I'll put a link in the description on uh, the part number I got it off Amazon I mean you can get it from your local auto store um, but so I've already got this one off and put back on this here is a 13 millimeter so you'll take this one off and then there are two tens here that you'll take off you'll save the bolt and then this bracket piece here and then it pops right off there's only one way to go back in so you'll put that back in the two tens and the 13 the 13 I had to um, <clears throat> put this here and then take my 13 and pry it against it because the whole assembly moves itself plus this moves. So you're not going to be able to hold this and this with a hand on this unless you got two people. So <clears throat> you have to put something in here against it so it doesn't move. Um, <clears throat> And as far as that, you'll you'll take these clips off, which is where the windshield wipers will go. And of course, you got two of them. There you go. All right, we're gonna and yeah, we're, let's go put this on. Let me grab my tools. And we'll bring the whole thing. Uh, you can use something battery powered, um, just makes it a little easier. <clears throat> so I myself, uh, with this one, is I've got a two and a half inch leveling kit on it. So yes, I do need uh, a ladder. Plus, uh, it's, it's always better so you don't scratch your hood uh, when you put it in. So let's see if I can not scratch my hood while I put it in and when you put it in you're gonna have to put it in at an angle just like that and then you'll see this that's gonna just line up right there uh, you got your connector cord that you'll have to take out just push the tab down and it'll come right out. Um, so let's, well, since I already know that was the issue, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the clip there since I already figured out what the issue, all you gotta do is put it back. Um, there's just, like I said, you've got just a couple of the bolts you got one there. You've got one under here, and then you've got one in the middle. Um, you'll basically just need a flathead, just to get it off, a flathead screwdriver, eight millimeter, and at least to a six inch extension. Um, whenever you're putting them back in, of course, always thread them in a little bit before you use anything like this. Um, and I think that's it. You'll pop these back in. Like I say, you'll, you've got uh, small clips here and indentions there uh, for those pieces there. Um, other than that, if you guys got any questions, I'm pretty sure I covered it all. It's real simple. I mean, I give it a one out of five to do. It would probably take maybe 15 minutes to do um, if you haven't really worked on anything. Um, as far as the truck itself, it is, like I said, it's a 2016. Um, it's got, I bought it with 50, I think 55,000 miles. It's got 68,000 miles 
on it now. So this is the only thing that I've had to do mechanically to repair it. I've done a bunch of things to it, the leveling kit, the AFE, uh, cold air intake, um, the 3.0 JTL catch can. Um, <clears throat> I've got just a muffler on it for now. I get home real early in the morning, so I didn't want to irritate the neighbors, but I, I pay like $100 for the muffler. I did a resonator delete and a bunch of other small stuff. Of course, the Ford emblem. So with that said, like I said, if you guys need anything, just comment down below. I'll get to it as quick as I can. All right, see you guys next time.